Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to make one of these alerts. So how you can give your users some useful information in a snappy way. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. If you're interested in learning more about that then just keep watching and I will show you how to make an alert. So let's get to the fun stuff and the only way to do that is to create a new Xcode project because as you know that's where the fun happens. So make it a single view application and I'm going to call it alert fun and I'm going to save it on my desktop put it in full screen and I'm just going to head over to the view controller because we won't have to do anything in our storyboard everything is going to happen programmatically so what I am going to do is I am going to create a function so you can create that wherever you want I'm going to create it down here and I'm going to call it create alert and this is the function that we are going to call when we want to display an alert so we only create this function one time and then we when we have created that function we just have to call the function and the alert will be displayed and there are two um, elements to an alert and that is a title and a message so whenever we call the function we want to also give that to the function we want to tell the function which title to display and then also which message to display so we're going to define two variables up here string and message I mean title and message which both are of type string and then this is going to be our function so the first thing we do is we create a variable that we name alert which is going to be our UI alert uh, alert controller and then the title is going to be let's get some more space here the title is going to be title so the variable that we pass to the function when we call it and our message is going to be our message and our UI alert controller style is going to be an alert of course experiment you can experiment here um, you I think you can choose some other ones also instead of just alert um, but we're just going to go with alert for now and then we're going to add an action to this alert so an alert isn't of much use if there isn't a certain action to it so we're going to add an action to it uh, and this is just going to be the button that is displayed below 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 the alert message <laughs> so we're going to say alert dot add action and let's see let's pick the right one this one and it's going to have a let's see alert dot add action correct and it's going to be a UI alert action and then the title we're going to pass this to the button and the title of the button is just going to be okay for now the style it's going to be so this is where you create your style you can experiment a little bit it's going to have the style of a cancel or just the default I think you can choose some other things no okay or and destructive so you can experiment with them but we're just going to go with the default one and then here we're going to say as a completion handler we're going to give this a name and I'm just going to call it action and then here when our button is clicked what do we want it to do well right now we just want to hide it so the user has gotten the message now it can hide the alert so just write alert dot dismiss and animated is equal to true and let's see and a completion handler we don't need that so I'm just going to write a nil there and then we also want to display it so or present it so we write self dot percent let's see percent I think that should be right and then alert let's see and we're going to pick this one and our UI view controller is our alert animated true completion handler nil and we're just going to run it and see what we've got and hopefully this will be a operational and a functional alert that displays our message 
But of course there was one thing that I forgot before I run this app and that is of course we have to call it. There is no, 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 no much use in a function if we don't call it. So we're going to do that and we're not going to do it in the view did load method because then we will try to display a view even though the view hasn't fully appeared yet. It has only loaded. So we want to uh, display the alert when the view has appeared. So we need view did appear. And then here we're going to write create alert and we're going to give it the title. So warning and uh, we can just write here device is overheating. Just like that. And then I'm going to launch it. And now we should be presented with an alert as we launch the application. So here we go. Here we have our alert warning device is overheating and we can click OK and it disappears. Now, of course, you can use alerts in order to give a message, but you could also use alerts in order to give your user certain uh, decision options. So your user can choose between different options and then you will take a particular action based on that. And the way you do that is you simply create more buttons like these. So this one is creating one button. And then we can just copy that function one more time and then we can create another button. So we can say uh, here, for example, the title of the alert is um, do you like like ice, uh, let's see, um, um, uh, sausages, question mark. And uh, we then don't need a message do you I'm just going to fill that out so that we have one and then here we can say yes on the first button and we can say no on the other button and then here is where you would take your action corresponding to the answer so right right now we're just going to print yes and down here we're going to print no so let's launch this and now our user should have two buttons so either yes or no and then when the user clicks that button, we're taking an action based on that input. So right now we should have an alert. Do you like sausages? Do you? And then I can click yes. And then we should have print yes. So that is how you use alerts. Uh, we really covered everything there is. Or the main part that is to alerts is either displaying a message or a warning to the user or it's giving the user a choice or an option and then taking certain action based on that. And in that case, you would simply use it as a normal button. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for future videos. And uh, thank you for watching.